Let's watch the matches between Osama M365 and Bon Ball in the quarterfinals of the Nylons Clash vs GP365 and Friends Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. Osama M365 is using the counter puncher style with the Siberian wire to counter the big forehand of Bon Ball who plays with high serve big forehand low. The Syrian Wire has the forehand counter ability, as you know, that allows to counter big forehand shots with precision, more accuracy. Now, Osama M is starting the match perfectly. And that's often the case, when you play with Kaito versus Heiser big forehand, you start the match by leading, and then, because the Syrian Wire has no stamina shield, you start to drain stamina very fast, especially if you need to uh, activate the long catch very often. And then by the end of the match, you are doomed because you have no more stamina and you suffer due to the big serves and the big forehand shots of the high serve big forehand opponent. So in this match, Osama M is countering pretty well. Even if Bobo Bo hit some very nice forehand winners, obviously hitting on the very weak backhand side is something you need to do, and that's easier to execute when you have precision. But of course, Osama M doesn't always hit on the weak backhand side. He can choose to wrong foot Bobo Bo by hitting on the strong forehand side while. Bombo is running towards the uh, backhand side to try and turn around hit with the forehand. That was something that Osama M did quite often to win the first match. So Bombo has switched to Victoria for the second match. While Osama M kept the same build. You can notice that Osama M used the anvil instead of the Hades threats so as to have more stamina and he used the Syrian wire with more efficiency. The anvil gives some stamina points, but less agility points versus the Hades threat, which is um, very often used in challenger tournaments. So with Victoria Bombo has a significantly better forehand. 77 forehand start instead of 72 with Leo and that means more devastating forehand shots that are very hard to return even with the Syrian wire forehand counter ability sometimes because Bombo hits very hard he catches the net very tricky to return correctly those huge forehand shots of Victoria. I absolutely love it. Of course now and then with the precision Kaito can still return very nicely but that's not enough for Osama M to come back in the second match 1-1. One, one. Here we go for the third match. Sam Byrne for Osama M. While Bobo keeps trying other builds, it's the same style, strong serve, big forehand. But this time in this third match, he's trying with uh, Victoria having a better backhand start, playing with the Forge instead of the Cobra. Very nice and accurate return from Osama M. And as I said, in Osama M365 matches in the round of 16, he relies a lot on very nice accuracy in all of his shots. He doesn't always try to hit very hard, but rather accurate shots. Of course, now and then, 
those are big shots but the accuracy is rather something that he insisted on instead of trying to hit very hard all the time and that's perfect because the counter puncher side is good for that for players who prefers to rely on accuracy rather than on the shot's power even if of course with Kaito you can still play accurately and powerfully very nice counter punch shot to end this third match Osama M365 is taking the lead 2-1 let's watch the fourth match now one ball is coming back to the strong serve very big forehand 77 that worked it pretty well for him in the second match a quick return on the backhand side of Bombo is obviously something you need to do if you want to keep the initiative otherwise with Kaito you will always suffer while trying to return one after the other the big forehand shots of Victoria very nice forehand winner there I absolutely love that Did you know that I'm fond of playing with Victoria and whenever I see a player using her and hit those beautiful forehand shots well I'm always glad to watch them yep that is exactly what you need to do hit a big return to counter a big forehand shot it's not always easy to do especially with a 59 agility and a lower stamina your Kaito can run fast enough anymore to uh, return the big forehand shots so Bombo hit some very big backhand shots too even with a, a relatively low backhand stat and Bombo equalized to 2-2 two, two. let's watch the fifth match now Bombo is keeping the same build than in the previous match he's not testing anymore that one couldn't have worked it if that was more accurate that's not always easy to hit them into the court because the forehand shots are so powerful this one worked it mainly because Victoria with the high side big forehand style is not so agile so at the beginning of the matches generally Victoria doesn't have a lot of hard time to run and turn around to hit with the forehand but if the match starts to last a bit longer then she will have a hard time very nice return there from Osama M another nice return and Osama M 365 chose to wrong foot Bombo loves to hit those Costco shots before hitting the or the corner. As you can see, with more stamina, Victoria can still turn around. So some am um, three six five kept insisting on returning on the strong side on the strong forehand side of uh, Victoria to run foot one ball and that worked pretty well in this match 
He's stuck in the lead again. 3 2. Let's watch the sixth match now. Osama M is changing to the choker courts to keep stamina at a more steady level. The choker courts has a stamina she on tier one. And a long catch tier 2, but has no forehand counter ability. So, it can work if Bobo doesn't hit very strong forehand shots. That would make impossible the task for Kaito to return properly. Nice big dive shot from Bombo. And very nice anticipation from Osama M. Still not easy to return properly those serves. That was an impressive forehand winner from Bombor. So you see uh, those forehand shots at level 9 capping. But in Tour 9, where Bombo plays with Heiser big forehand, he has a much higher forehand stat. And I can tell you that it's extremely hard to counter his forehand shot. I'm talking about Tour 9, of course, where there's no capping. Another huge forehand shot to end this sixth match. We're going to see the seventh match. What a thriller! Surprisingly enough, Bombo decided to change the build for this last match. Instead of uh, keeping the same build than the uh, previous match, where he was playing very well, accuracy was not on point at the beginning of the match. Osama M is taking the Siberian wire again. The test with Choker Cross was not so good for him. Very nice anticipation from Osama M. He starts to read the hitting pattern of Bombo now. And he's quickly taking the lead with this nice counterpunch shot. Another nice one towards the backhand side. But it was a lucky shot for Bombo. Hit the net and cross it. Oh, that was a nice counter shot. A huge forehand winner there. That is so lovely to see when Victoria rotates her arm to hit with her left hand. That unforced error is changing everything. It's pretty unusual for Bombo to hit that far from the bounce. And Osama M didn't miss his opportunity to end the match. He had three match points, so there was no pressure. Osama M 365 qualifies for the semi-finals. This is a good performance versus a 4,270 trophies player. Well, I hope you enjoy watching those quarter-final matches between Osama M 365 and Bombo in the Nylon Clash vs GP365 and Friends Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of this tournament. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.